This first video is going to be a very, very quick introduction into what ecology is. And for this unit, we're going to be focused on what is ecology and what are the interrelationships that we can have within our own species as well as with the species around us and our environment. So why do we even care? The main reason we care so much about this unit is that none of us exist in a vacuum. As organisms, we interact with each other in very significant ways, and we also interact with our environment. So with ecology, we're going to be looking at these complicated, complex relationships and looking at what do they mean and how do we influence each other. So ecology is just the study of interactions between organisms and their environments. So we're looking both at how different organisms interact with each other, as well as how those same organisms interact with their environment. We call this the biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic meaning the living factors within uh, the study and the abiotic factors being the non-living. Population ecology is a subfield of ecology, so a smaller portion of ecology that focuses on populations of organisms in a species, and that includes humans and how they interact with the environment. So we're looking at groups of a species rather than individuals or um, large like ecosystem-based studies. Remember that a population is a group of organisms from the same species living in the same area at the same time. This is something we defined earlier when we were looking at evolution and what a species is and some other terminology. So make sure um, go back and watch those videos if you are struggling with that concept. But with ecology, we're really making a major shift in how we think about things. We're shifting our focus from the individual, which is for the most part how we've been thinking uh, since the beginning of the semester. We've been talking about the individual types of organisms and we've been focused kind of on one single thing at a time. But we're shifting our focus away from the individual to the population when discussing ecology. This is a large scale study or a large scale idea when it comes to biology. Um, many studies that you look at are looking at very controlled, very individualistic types of studies. So usually when we're thinking about biology, we're studying different things in biology, like we're studying bacteria or we're studying anatomy or physiology or anything of that sort. We're kind of studying it in a vacuum of some sort in that we're not looking at how this organism is influenced by outside forces or anything. We're simply looking at the organism as an individual and just looking at what makes it tick um, or the basic facts about that organism. But here with ecology, we have to pull ourselves back and look at the entire group working as a unit. And so if we look at ecology, we're looking at the interactions between organisms and the environment. And so we can study ecology at an individual level where we're looking at how individuals work within a given uh, environment or within a given with constraints. We can look at populations where we're looking at groups of individual organisms that are from the same species. We can look at communities where we're looking at the interactions between different species. So with populations, we'd be looking at how do the individuals of the same species interact with each other. And with communities, we're looking at how do the species interact with other species around it. And then with the ecosystem, we're looking at all of the things together. We're looking at all of the different populations of living things within the ecosystem. We're also looking at the non-living elements. So things like water, things like weather, things like soil content or nutrient content. Those are all things that come into play with the ecosystem. So this video is a really short video um, just to kind of get your, get your feet wet in what ecology is. And then we'll go into the basics of population ecology in the next video. There's going to be several videos after that with this um, looking into not just population ecology, but also ecosystem and community ecology as well.